guys, it's Asia here. Thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of Inside Scoop. I'm gonna try and keep this one pretty quick today. I'm gonna cover two topics. First, we're gonna take a look at what's happening in the market. And second, we're gonna talk about the brand new first time home buyers incentive program from the National Housing Strategy. So number one, looking at the market, uh, across the board in the lower mainland, we are seeing a decrease in the number of sales and a decrease in the sales price. There is certainly an increase in the number of listings that are uh, that are currently active, which means there is a lot of competition out there driving prices downward. So if you are thinking about listing, make sure that your listing stands out because there is a lot of competition. So how can you make a listing stand out? Well, first, you pick a really awesome realtor. Uh, number two, you want to make sure that it's priced properly. Um, this is not the time to try and one-up your neighbor who sold a few months ago or last year. Now is the time to take a really good hard look at what is selling um, and price appropriately. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that you want to keep your place looking perfect. So when a buyer walks in, they're not thinking, oh, I have to fix this, I have to fix this, I have to fix this. We want buyers to walk in and think, wow, this is perfect. I want to buy it. So that means good, deep, clean. That means, uh, if necessary, getting some staging done. And most of all, having professional photography, uh, professional virtual tours, um, all that fun stuff. There is nothing that grinds me to my core more than looking at MLS and seeing iPhone photography, uh, sideways pictures, dark pictures. It just, you're not doing anybody any favors with that sort of marketing. So keep in mind that you should always have professional photography done. It makes a huge difference. Next up, we're gonna talk about the brand new first time home buyers incentive program that is supposed to launch in September. Uh, there is some mixed reviews on this, whether or not it's a good thing or bad thing, I will let you decide for yourself, uh, but I'll basically just go over the rules. So the government is willing to give you up to 5% of the purchase price of a home towards your down payment uh, on a resale home, uh, and they are willing to give you up to 10% of the purchase price towards your down payment on a brand new build. So how do you repay that amount? Well, you have either 25 years or upon the sale of your property to repay that loan. And the amount that you pay is actually a, a proportion of what they gave you. So if the government gave you 5% um, at the time of purchase, then you're gonna give them 5% of the value at resale or when you, in 25 years when you pay it back. So an example of what that is, say you want to purchase a home for $400,000 and you already have 5%, so you have your 20,000 20, to put towards your down payment. The government will give you an additional 5% if this is a resale home, meaning they'll give you another 20,000 uh, and that can really go a long way towards reducing your monthly payments, which is pretty good. Let's say down the road you resell, but the market has taken a bit of a turn and your value has gone down. So when you resell the property, it's worth 350,000. Well, that means instead of paying back that full $20,000 that the government gave you, you pay 5% of what it's currently valued at. So instead of paying 20,000, you end up paying 17,500. So, I mean, that's kind of good, but it's still eating into your equity. Um, opposite situation, say your property has gone up in value, which is what the government is banking on, <laughs> uh, then you're going to have to pay more than that additional uh, 20000 So say your original purchase of 400000 went up to four fifty, then instead of paying 20000 back to the government, you are in fact going to be paying 22500 So keep that in mind. As I said, there are a lot of pros and cons to this. Pro, it does help first timers get into the market. Uh, however, a lot of the problems with first timers getting into the market comes from not having a down payment at all. And this program, you still need to have a minimum down payment to be eligible for the program. So, eh, I don't know, we'll see. BC rolled out something very similar to this a few years ago called the BC Partnership Loan, and that was a flop. So. I don't know, I'm not convinced. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, and a lot of people do not like the idea of having um, the government eating into your proceeds. So not great, but we'll see what happens with it. I think it's kind of an election ploy. 
Uh, but I think that's it. I said I was gonna try and keep it quick, so I will let you go. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if you are in the market to list or buy, then give me a call. Thanks, guys. Bye.